Hi, everybody. So glad to be here. My other video that um, I put up last time cut off, and then it separated its own self into two videos. So I, I'm not sure what the meaning of that is, but I'm taking it that I should not right now video any longer than 30 minutes because that's how long it went. So I'm just starting uh, to uh, finish up. I'm gonna make sure I'm rolling. Here's the, the one I finished the other day. So I'm gonna I'm gonna outline this beautiful butterfly. But first I have to finish the rest of these. And I just want to make some squiggly lines around this one. Kind of like that. The music is the same music I used the other day in the other video. It's from an awesome mixed media artist. I like to give people credit where credit's due. She always uh, does fast forward videos. Well, for the most part. And isn't this little guy cute? And plays beautiful music and it's okay music to use because she has already cleared it so i use the music from her videos and from that she gets um she gets views an increase in views and uh, also time watched time which is important to artists and I try to give her a thumbs up every time because um, because it's really important if you if you give a thumbs up um, YouTube interprets that as a liked video and will give you priority in the in the feed and it will make a recommendation to other people for your video. So I, I really love that. I need it a lot. And um, just a quick mention of my, my giveaway that's um, right now. My giveaway is for a jelly plate. So if you like to make beautiful painty papers and use, if you would like to use a jelly plate in your art, then um, you might win one from my giveaway. And what you need to do is make sure you're a subscriber on my channel. Subscribers need to be 18 years or older, or they can get parent permission. I don't know about that, but 
That's, uh, that's what I'm told. I guess I could find out about it if that situation came up. Then I would need a video response to my channel and my giveaway and um, those kinds of things. These are called artist cards, ATCs. I think I call them iCads last time. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, control myself here. And the giveaway dates, the giveaway started on January 10th, and it will be over on January 30th. So that's the, those are the dates. I, I appreciate um, the support, the reason why I'm uh, looking for, uh, to get up to 1,000 subscribers is because I am told that I can get monetized uh, if I have 1,000 subscribers and a certain amount of watch time. So any amount of watch time you can give me as a subscriber, even if it's just turning my video on and walking away and putting the laundry in or, you know, I would love it if you would watch my videos and, and give me comments. But if, if all you can do at the time is to turn on my video and let it play, that's good enough for me. Um, I started to outline this beautiful butterfly and now I'm going to just continue to do it because this pin is working pretty well. Sometimes um, pins don't work well over acrylics. and. I tried a couple of pins last time I did this, and one or two of them didn't work so well. They start skipping if they get clogged up from the acrylic paint, or what I have on top of here is Mod Podge. So if they get plugged up like that, they will start skipping, and they will not be a very a very good they will not make a very good line so this one is a pilot G2 size of the pen nib is 07 and to be truthful I think I got these at the grocery store or or the dollar store which I have not been to in a really long time and you can see the ink is not drying up inside of the pen. So, there we go. I'm preparing these cards for a classroom of children. Um, the teacher's name is Miss Karen, and you can look her up on YouTube. Her name is Karen Gianni, Giannini, I think. I think I said it wrong last week. And how this all started was um, Scrappin' Lizzie Unicorn Facebook page. Lizzie started talking about and introducing a challenge for her Facebook page for, to make iCads, not iCads, artist trading cards, ATCs. This is about the size, and I'm going to say about or around because I'm terrible at measuring. See, this one turned out to be about three inches. I'm just terrible at measuring. I try my best. And a little less than two and a half. 
And then um, after I get the edges, the borders put on, which I'm done now, um, then I will, I need to make sure I sign them. And always sign your art, always sign and date it. So I put Pat S for Patricia Stubbs, and this is the first of Jan of uh, this is the first month, the nineteenth day of two thousand nineteen. So that's pretty cool. And then I will I will make phrases for these. This one's not. I'm going to go on this one. Sorry if I moved the camera. But we'll get to that next. I would like to um, show the process of making these. I painted the little cards and um, with acrylic paints, different colors. Kind of to match the images. And I have, this is a mommy elephant and a baby, and I'll be putting those on. And butterflies, I have a couple with dogs and cats and a penguin that you just saw. And then I'm going to send them to, I call her Miss Karen. I think that's what she calls herself. Miss Karen. Um, for her, for her children. They're, they're going to have, each one is going to have encouraging phrases. Sometimes I can write tiny and sometimes I can't. Are we still rolling? We are. 13 minutes worth. You can do it on the back. I like to do it. I like to sign it on the front. If you're new to my channel, the sound, the clicking sound in the background is my doggies are running around here. And they're always, what about me? Here's this cute, cute, cute little dog. So, um, not only to finish the cards, but also just uh, to give a reminder about the giveaway and also a reminder, a reminder about why I'm doing the cards. And if you want to just make some little cards and send them to Karen, you can contact her on Scrappin' Lizzie's Facebook page, Scrappin' Lizzie Unicorn. And there's probably a, a notice or a file 
on that Facebook page and I used to I used to not know how to get you know get around on Facebook it was like this big huge overwhelm thing for me but after I got used to it, it was, it's not bad at all so these are I'm just gonna go a little bit longer So then uh, everybody started talking about um, Lizzie's challenge with Lizzie, and everyone decided that um, we would answer the request of Karen, who was asking for these artist trading cards to be sent to her children in her class. She has, I'm not sure, I think 16 children. I need to, I need to check that. And some or not all of them have either, um, I'm not sure, maybe autism or learning disability issues of some kind. And they need encouragement is what it's for. So after I get after I get these done, then I will I will put on words of encouragement like you can do this or you can if you think you can or believe. You know, just words of encouragement for children that might need a little encouragement today or any day and children with autism and learning disabilities um, need encouragement every day I taught first grade for more than 25 years and then I left that the regular classroom and went into counseling on campus and uh, I can tell you that all children need encouragement not just children with learning disabilities and autism but most especially children with um, different challenges like that need encouragement extra they just need extra This pen, if it's smudged, if you touch it before it dries, it will uh, smear. So you will need to let it dry. And even more is I use a blow dryer. You can use a heat tool to set it. Make sure it's dry and then set it to help it from smearing. I just want to say welcome to all my brand new subscribers. I'm just overwhelmed with the awesome response and um, the help. from other people to um, I'm a little emotional about it so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna march on through the feelings here um, the help of other youtubers even big ones uh, have um, given me support and help and shout outs and sharing it on their Facebook page, 
truly, truly appreciate it, and I'm just, I'm really humbled by it. My dog's going to start growling at something that he sees in the backyard, and he's, he's pretty much blind, and the little one's going blind, so... I don't know what he thinks he sees. I just love him dearly, you know. And I'm with him and her all day. Every day I leave for short periods of time, but not for long. So he's not in any kind of danger of harm because he's blind or because he's Pretty much deaf. He's the older one of the two. The other one is one year older and she too is going blind and deaf. It must be something of the small fluffy white dog group, which is what they are, small and fluffy and white. He is a poodle and she is a Bashan Frise. And I bought them for my daughter when she was <clears throat> 18 or so. This little guy is so pretty. And now this little boy dog right here is starting to have his little complaining session that he has a couple times a day. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, I think, 28 minutes. And I can tell that because of the Sanda's video is over and it has gone over to the next video. Real quickly, I'll just say I, I cut these images out from a, a uh, children's ABC book. Don't judge me. I, I know, I know. Um... I bought it in a bag. Oh, that's already done. I bought these books in a bag from a lady that was selling them online. It was like $5 a bag, and it had a bunch of books in it. And it's from, oh, on Facebook called Swip Swap. That's, um, they have Swip Swap a lot of places, but it's local. You can buy things locally. Just if you have a way to drive and go get them. And you know, it's people not wanting to throw good stuff away, but it is good stuff, but it's been used a bit. And these pictures were in perfect shape. I mean, there's no, they're gorgeous. And they look um, nice on the, the acrylic paint and the Mod Podge makes them stand out. So there it is, that's, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you later.